what's your advice to other people coming up who are trying to make it and trying to become moguls in and of their own right? What, what's your advice to them? Uh, my advice is to do things that are true to you. You know, uh, you know, most things that I'm involved with are extension of being creative. You know, Rockaway is a clothing company. You know, it's part of who you are, and hip hop is your attitude and what you're trying to exp exp express, how you dress. Um, you know, I loved sports growing up. I grew up in a, in a household where sports was on 24, you know, seven. Mm -hmm. So these all things that are, you know, are comfortable for me. You know, these are things that I like. So I would just say get involved in things that you love and also have, you know, have a standard for yourself and have some sort of integrity and try to, you know, find some sort of truth in what you're doing. Jay-Z's advice to entrepreneurs be true to you. Um, this is the sleepiest I've ever been filming videos. It is 2.42 a.m. I got a flight to catch tomorrow and I am tired. It's gonna be a safe flight, it's gonna be good, everything's gonna be good. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. Right here we got Jay-Z talking about why entrepreneurs need to be true to themselves. People ask me why I cuss on my videos. People ask me why I'm so harsh with my delivery. People ask me why I come off the way that I do. Some people think it's arrogant. Some people think it's me being brash and think I'm an asshole. I don't really give a fuck what you think. The reason I come off the way that I do is because I'm being true to me. One thing that I found when I was starting off in this entrepreneurial music business advice journey, I kept seeing a bunch of people that were too fluffy, weren't giving you all the meat and bones. When they didn't know something, they didn't say they didn't know, they would give some roundabout bullshit, politically correct corporate answer that doesn't help entrepreneurs, that doesn't help people in the music business, especially independent musicians. I said, once I got in a position where people would be listening to me and I'll be providing advice to people, I'm going to give it to you straight. There was a period in my life, sophomore year of high school, where I was trying to play the middle. I wasn't in the black area or the white area. And I'm not talking about racist. I'm just talking about like the extremes. I was in the gray area. Like I was a person who everybody probably knew my face, but maybe half the people knew my name. And I wasn't no big time athlete. I wasn't like the homecoming king. I wasn't none of that shit. I was just a nigga in the high school of 3,000 people who was cool with the athletes and the homecoming kings and shit. But like, who is Dorian? And I realized during my sophomore year of high school, I wasn't happy at all. That was the most miserable year of school I ever had. And because I wasn't being true to myself, I had opinions, I had thoughts, I had stuff I wanted to express and I needed to get it out. And I decided my junior year, that's what I was gonna do. And what it did, it drove some people away, which is fine. It didn't bother me, because I was being true to myself. But one thing I really learned is it brought people to me. People were attracted to that. They were attracted to me being me. They were attracted to the authenticity. They were attracted to the realness. They were attracted to the point that, you know what? Dorian might come off kind of harsh, but I know he's not going to lie to me. I know he's always going to tell me the truth, and I always know where I stand with him. And I pride myself on that. And I did that in high school and in college and in grad school and when I was coaching, and now I do it with y'all. Y'all might not like me. Y'all might think I'm an asshole. You might think I'm mean, but I'm never going to lie to you. I'm always going to keep it real. If I don't know something, I'm going to tell you I don't know it. And you're always going to know where you stand with me. How convenient is that for you? Let me rephrase that. How refreshing is that for you? Somebody who's giving you free advice, who's actually done it themselves, is giving it to you real. No fluff, no bullshit. That's what I like. So I deliver it that same way. If you don't like it, I understand that. I tell you the exact same thing I tell anybody who interviews at Group 82. I'm a direct communicator. My dad was in the military. I coach college basketball. And my communication style might rub some people the wrong way. You might not like it, that's fine. But I gotta be true to me. This is my business. This is my entrepreneurial journey. This is what I do to provide for my family. I'm not going to put on a facade for nobody. And I feel like everybody else should do that too. 
When you have a business, especially if you're a musician, you have to be true to you at all times. There's too much stuff that's going on for you to be fake. Always be real and people will always appreciate and respect that. If you appreciate and respect everything I've done and all the stuff that I've done for you, click the link in the bio. Purchase my album, True Support, for $9.99, and I'm going to put you on our Spotify playlist that's $249 for free. I'm out the pond. Y'all stay true. Group82music.com.